Over 9,000 fans here in Convention Hall tonight. They've come to see Rocky Marciano, the sensation of the heavyweight division. It's the big moment for Rocky Marciano and Harry Kid Matthews. Rocky Marciano. The Brockton Blockbuster. The best pound for pound boxer of all time. Who was the best of all time? And down goes Matthews. It was a brilliant, tactical conclusion to a fight. Marciano was the hardest punch I ever seen. He was a slugger who many said was too short and too light to contend with real heavyweights. He was the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano, the greatest champion in the history of boxing. Rocky was born in Massachusetts in 1923, just six years before the Great Depression began. His parents were Italian immigrants and worked grueling jobs around the clock to provide for Rocky and his siblings. Rocky was a great story and a great American immigration story. His first love was baseball. He tried out with the Chicago Cubs. He uh, excelled in football as well for the Brockton High School team. But dropped out of school in 10th grade to help support the family working as a chute delivery driver for the Brockton Ice and Coal Company and digging ditches as a second job. Yeah. He was a nobody, doing menial jobs, doing whatever he could do basically to get by. He was a football player in high school and had a tryout as a big league catcher. Marciano in dark trunks has short arms. His reach is only 67 inches, eight inches shorter than lane 75. You know, he was a bruiser, he was a brawler. Um, his style, he took a lot of punishment and he gave a lot of punishment. Marciano trying for that big payoff punch. Most of the fight has been fought at short range. We know why Rocky wants it that way. He has short arms. The world of boxing was as rough as it gets during this era. Fighters were paid scraps by corrupt managers. Lose, and you could be discarded forever. Broken and broke. As a result, Fighters were willing to die in the ring. Charlie Goldman toweling Marciano's face. After the fight, one of Rex Lane's friends described Marciano's knockout punch as shearing Lane's front teeth off at the nuts. Referee Mark Kahn picks up the count. It's 10 and out for Rex Lane, who hasn't moved a muscle. He's really out. The Rocky waves are right on high. That did the job. And Rocky Marciano has registered his 36th victory in a row. He's on his way to the top. When World War II broke out, Marciano did what many able-bodied Americans did and joined up. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the United States of America. Building bridges and ferrying soldiers across the English Channel. A combat engineer had to bring into play all the skill and daring acquired at training camp and on the field of battle. During this time, he got into a street fight, which I can only imagine ended horribly for the other guy. While in military prison, he was first introduced to boxing. Uh, when he got out of the military stockade, he stayed in the army after the war and started boxing uh, more formally. Sadly, Practically nothing but first-hand accounts exist to document Rocky's early fights. This is Don Turner, legendary trainer. We started old. Marciano started, he was 25 when he started. He was old, he turned pro when most guys was finished as a heavyweight. This is from Rocky's second professional opponent. His 32nd fight was against an undefeated warrior. It was this fight where Rocky learned the true power of his punches. And he was hurt, hurt badly. He was taken to the hospital. They were afraid he might be paralyzed. Vingo was nearly killed. Marciano paid for his medical expenses. Vingo never fought again. Rocky would get a shot at the legend, Joe Lewis, arguably 
the greatest fighter ever. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever lived. Certainly top 10. No doubt Lewis was past his prime at 37. However, Rocky had only been fighting for two years, while Lewis had been fighting since he was 17. All of the measurables were in Lewis's favor. He outweighed Marciano by 26 pounds and had nearly 10 inches of reach advantage. The super fight brought out all the celebrities. General Douglas MacArthur is here with General John Reed Kilpatrick at left. And J. Edgar Hoover. And J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Boom, perfect timing. At 184 pounds, Rocky Marciano versus at 210 pounds, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Lewis has three inches on Marciano in height and nine inches in reach. He had no subtlety. He had a Susie Q. <laughs> the greatest right hand in the history of boxing. Marciano's right is his most damaging weapon. And Joe Lewis said, he doesn't really fight by the book, but I got hit by a library tonight. Marciano is the sluggard type of fighter. His arms are unusually short for a heavyweight, but he's strong and he's powerful. You can compare him to a street fighter with a huge heart. He wasn't known as an artist, but a tank. And, uh, he never lost. Marciano's hard left hook sends Lewis sprawling to the canvas. A warrior who overcame his artistic deficiencies with brutish determination. Now watch, a left, another left crumples Lewis, a blazing right. Marciano was known like, like, having unbelievable strength in his punches, like yeah. he could just... Rocky Marciano had something that you can't teach people. He Which is just brutal brute power. strength. Brutal power. He just had the ability to land these bone-crushing shots. And he also was insanely tough. You're dealing with a, just a, a different time. Then Joe, the great Joe Lewis defeated, ending up his career that way. I think at that moment it might have influenced me in retiring maybe a year before I was. The win catapulted Rocky into the mainstream consciousness. The time had finally come. Rocky Marciano would challenge Jersey Joe Walcott for the heavyweight title. Walcott was an all-time warrior. Drenched in history and seasoned by fire. In the lead-up, Walcott had proclaimed Marciano a hype job, going as far as to call Marciano a bum. A Walcott said before this fight, if I can't beat this bum, take my name off the record books. I guess he can punch a bit, but he can't box. I've never seen anyone easier to hit. September 1952, Philadelphia. Experts rate the Walcott fight as one of the most exciting bouts in ring history. For the heavyweight championship of the world, weighing 184 pounds, the challenger, Rocky Marciano. Weighing 196 pounds, the heavyweight champion, Jersey Joe Walcott. They call Rocky the Brockton Blockbuster. And some of the fight experts say he's another Jack Dempsey. Jersey Joe dominated the early action, smashing Marciano with relentless combinations. Rocky Marciano was one of the uh, toughest men ever to fight. Many fighters fold when they're first tested, when they're cut and dropped. Rocky grew tougher. But he was one tough guy. He was 189 pounds. It was the first knockdown of Rocky's career. Marciano is now cut on the floor. The way he came back and the way he fought people. First time that Marciano ever had been put on the canvas. He took a five and came up and from that time on they have fought steadily and hard. But he liked it. 
he went beyond courage and, to, and that he truly liked it. He liked the sport. He liked getting hit and he liked hitting. Absorbing Walcott's best shots, eating punches that ended other fighters. The consensus at this point was Rocky's got to knock him out to win. All the officials voted for Walcott this round. Twisted Walcott's face into pudding. Relentless attack. And now we're in round 13. At this stage, Jersey Joe Walcott is leading on all three scorecards. Seven rounds to five. Rocky Marciano has to knock out Jersey Joe Walcott to win this fight, and his corner has told him so. And he had a punch from hell called the Suzy Q with his right hand. One destructive blow changed the course of heavyweight history. Rocky feigned a left then delivered a sledgehammer right. The Suzy Q. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and out! New heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano has come from almost certain defeat to knock out Joe Walcott. And the new heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. When it ended, fight fans had witnessed one of the greatest slugfests in history. The Brockton blockbuster was now the heavyweight champion of the world. I hit him with plenty of good punches, and uh, he took them very good. Rolled with most of them. He's a very smart fighter, a durable fighter, and... Uh, a very great champion. I only hope that I could be as good as him. He was celebrated. Parades, magazine covers, television appearances. He was a national figure and the pride of a small Massachusetts community. Like uh, yeah. Rocky Marciano, when he won the heavyweight title, was 15 pounds lighter than me. Perhaps the first sports television superstar. Yes, after World War II, as Rocky was rising through the ranks, uh, television changed America and it changed uh, sports. Meet the world heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano of Brockton, Massachusetts. Rocky is even credited for being a huge part of why most every American household purchased a TV in the 50s. Everyone wanted to watch the underdog warrior with endless heart, an iron chin, and a pulverizing right hand. One of the reporters said, I guess that's the finish of Jersey Joe Walcott. And we were all surprised the next day when we picked up the paper to read that Jersey Joe demanded a rematch that he was entitled to because of the great fight. On May 15th, I'm going to defend my title against Jersey Joe Walcott. I'm not forgetting the last time we fought it was a great fight, and Joe fought all the way right up until the 13th round. The world's heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano. I think he was better than Joe Frazier, put it that way. Really? I truly think he was better than Joe Frazier. You know what Joe Frazier did to me, how I barely got by him a couple of times. I think it'd be even, he may have won. In the rematch with Walcott, Rocky dropped Joe in the first round. Set down Jersey Joe Walcott. He seems dazed. He's looking up. Will he make the count? No, he's out. He's out. Rocky Marciano has won in the first round. Many thought Joe could have gotten up, but flashbacks of Rocky's Suzy Q kept him down. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 25 seconds of the first round. Winner by a knockout and still world heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Suddenly, he was everywhere. A true people's champ, Marciano was adored by the masses. Showing the compassionate side of his nature, he spent a lot of time raising money for charity. Here with actors Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. He sparred with Jerry Lewis for charity. This is for fun. Rocky visited Eisenhower along with Joe DiMaggio. I'm sorry, I don't know. He talked like that. Like Tyson? Oh my like, God, oh Mike yeah. Tyson. Sir. Higher than Tyson. And I, I looked at him and I thought, Jesus, he's got short arms. He talked like this. And I, I thought, no one, I could throw a hook, put him, I'd be champion of the world. And he just, you know. And he looked at me and he went, don't even think about it. 
don't even think about it. And I said, how did you know what I was thinking, Rock? He said, I always know. But only four men had gone the distance with The Rock, and La Starza was one of them. So he boasted he would be taking the title from Rocky. That he's going to take the championship. Now, uh, how do you feel about that? Well, he still has to prove it to me on September 20th at Yankee Stadium. You know, Yankee Stadium was the venue for like Chicago Stadium yeah. Olympic. These were huge events. Yeah. This is my first New York Fighters champion, and it better be a good one. You can't make it big, even with the title, unless you go over big in New York. Three years ago, we had a close fight, and ever since then, he screamed for a rematch. Here we go, round one, heavyweight championship of the world. Rocky Marciano with Roland Lestarza. Rocky comes out slowly, circles to his left a little bit. I don't like the look in his face either. He's standing out there, and he thinks he's going to do this to me all night. i got to teach him. Rocky battered Roland Lestarza. The fight was Ring Magazine's Fight of the Year for 1953. Marciano misses a left hook, then connects with a smashing right. When they asked me who was the greatest fighter in the world, it's only one, Rocky Marciano, who's never defeated. Another right, a left. He was relentless. Another right, central stars are sailing back through the rope. On his feet, but he is wobbly. And Goldstein steps in, the fight is over. And so Rocky Marciano remains heavyweight champion of the world as he racks up his 45th consecutive triumph and his 40th knockout. The stars has suffered bone damage and broken vessels in his arms. He had to pay the price for his words. He, his arm, he almost ripped his arm off. I mean, all the veins and everything. He ripped everything off of it. He had an operation on his arm, his shoulder, everything. He couldn't move. He couldn't move. World heavyweight champion Rocky Marciano is training in New York to defend his title. He was revered for his training, running 15 miles a day in combat boots, pushing his endurance beyond what athletes in his era were accustomed to. He was dedicated. I don't think anybody ever worked harder than Rocky. Watching him train, never stop, never stop. Charlie Gomez, said, okay, Rocky, take a break. Nope. They often tell me that he was the most conditioned fighter that they had ever he seen. He was. Unbelievable. Eight months in the training camp. Next, Rocky fought Ezard Charles for the second time. Yankee Stadium, where Rocky Marciano is ready to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against former champion Ezard Charles. This is the biggest fistic battle of the year, and the setting is just about perfect. And Ezard Charles was an all-time great. Mm -hmm. Got beat up real bad. By Marciano. Rocky dominated. Good right hand by Rocky Marciano. Charles may be hurt. Marciano going after Ezra Charles. And Charles goes down. Marciano's nose has been split into two ribbons of flesh and his handlers have covered it with a Pinocchio-like bandage. Let me tell you the story about that cut. You got to get this guy right now, Columbo says. They may have to stop the fight. It's that bad. Your nose is split in half. Well, he had to knock him out in that round. That's right. They were going to stop that fight. Rocky's nose was split so badly, he was informed they'd stop the fight in another round. Once again, Rocky was forced into a knockout your opponent now or lose it all situation. Marciano delivered some of his most iconic knockdowns ever. Down he goes! Overcoming the odds again. As a Charles, one of the greatest of all time, as a Charles. Once more, a chance to see the punch that sent him down. There it is! Uh, that's the kind of fight that uh, I love because uh, you, you see uh, both fighters uh, really giving their all. 
After a tigerish and successful fight to keep his world heavyweight title, champion Rocky Marciano is surrounded by triumphant fans. Marciano wouldn't fight again for six months. Again, very unusual injury. You know how come as a Charles retired? Why he retired? I mean, the reason he started, he started being a losing fighter. If he had never fought Marciano, he would have been all right. After a long layoff due to the nose injury, Rocky took on the British champion. I defended the crown at Kizar Stadium, San Francisco, 1955. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing 189 pounds, wearing white trunks, the heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Raquel hails from the Battersea section of London. And a battering is what he got from Marciano. That's it. No more. Come on, Rev. Stop it. He doesn't seem to know where he is when referee Frank Brown stops the fight. It was a beatdown that was mercifully stopped. San Francisco, where Rocky Marciano has just won the big fight and retained his title. The final fight of Rocky Marciano's career took place against the legendary Archie Moore. His championship against Archie Moore at the Yankee Stadium on Tuesday, September 20th. You know, Marciano doesn't want to fight me. I'm light heavyweight champion. He's scared of me. He even took out ads in newspapers. Moore had done what most others did before him called Rocky all hype and insisted he was scared of a real fighter. Yankee Stadium, 1955. Ladies and gentlemen, main event, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. They asked him, did he hurt you, meaning Marciano. He said every punch felt like I was getting hit by a blackjack or a truck full of rocks. Don't go by what these people do. I was there. Punched harder than any heavyweight ever lived. In the second round, Rocky got clobbered with a counter right. Moore could hit. There was no question about it, as most knockouts in the history of the heavyweight division. He knocks down Marciano. One, two, three, four. The count was four. He shook it off and went back on the attack. Three knockouts in 49 fights. The time, the time, one minute, 19 seconds of the ninth round. Winner by a knockout. And still, heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. This was his last fight for Marciano, but he waited about seven months to announce his retirement. Yeah. He walked away undefeated, undefeated heavyweight champion yeah. of the world. Rocky would retire at the peak of his powers. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing at this time. He did something that a lot of fighters they find hard to do or being able to walk away from the sport he retired the champion he was the champion of the day he died the only heavyweight champion to walk away undefeated how do you feel physically now i feel perfect and i will be starting to play golf pretty soon yeah, i'm proud to 
have been Rocky Marciano's friend. He's a great man in many ways. And what a career. On August 31st, 1969, Marciano boarded a private plane. He flew those small planes all the time. I gotta be crazy, but he, that's what he did. Unexpected weather forced the pilot to attempt an emergency landing. The plane crashed and killed all three passengers. It was the day before Marciano's 46th birthday. People don't know when Marciano got killed. He was decapitated, closed casket. Joe Lewis kissed his coffin and wept. He was the only undefeated retired champion in any division. And his record was unsurpassed, 49 victories in 49 fights. 43 of them by knockouts. A legend in his own time. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton blockbuster. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. Don't forget to visit our sponsor, Karma. Save more, get more.